Gide. This is a case of Gibbon syndrome, also known as epilepsy with eyelid macronia. Uh, it's a rare uh, epilepsy disorder. Uh, it is diagnosed on the basis of three elements. Number one, uh, there is eyelid macronia, which are flickering and fluttering movement of the eyelids and with, with associated gaze deviation to the upwards and sometimes there is jerking of the head on backwards. It may be present with or without any absence seizure. This is number one components. Number two, eyelid closure, closing or bright light or flickering light induced seizure or EEG paroxysms. Number three, photosensitivity. Photosensitivity is very common in Gibbon syndrome, but in, uh, in some stage of the disease, the photosensitivity is reduced due to drug management. These, these are the three important elements of diagnosis of Gibbon syndrome. Uh, the underlying cause, there is no underlying cause, but there may be family history of uh, epilepsy. No genetic diagnosis is still made on, on for Gibbon's disease. And uh, this important differential is sunflower syndrome, which is also uh, known as uh, epilepsy with myoclonic, with uh, eyelid myoclonia with phot photic in, uh, induction. In sunflower syndrome, the patient usually seeking the sun and there is also waving of hands in front of the sun and that triggers epilepsy and associated there is some intellectual disability in case of sunflower syndrome and uh, this Gibbon syndrome is treated with uh, valproic acid some cases we can use levetiracetam or even uh, lamotrigin newer anti epileptic drugs can be used for Gibbon syndrome uh, there is 50% uh, in 50% cases Gibbon syndromes can be uh, the good good prognosis but 50% uh, cases there is uh, treatment refractory epilepsy and that's all thank you